this gorgeous little thing. It's just gone running up to either an older sibling or most likely actually an older cousin. And I just love watching the interaction between young elephants. There's something so special and relatable about it. They really truly are like a small children in the way that they interact with each other. And you can see the friendships and the bonds and the playfulness of their behavior. That to me makes them extra specially endearing. Look at this, what you doing? Oh, you cheeky monkey. Knocking each other around, pushing, shoving, all part of developing some seriously important social skills. Now I'd love to go and catch up with them, but as you can see, there is a very large female over there and she's pregnant. And you know what they say, you don't push a pregnant lady. Um, he, obviously not physically, but just emotionally. I'm not going to in any way, shape or form infuriate her. She's quite heavily pregnant. I know, big girl. I know. Sorry, I'm not calling you fat. You're beautiful. But you are pregnant. See, she's bulging out at the sides. I wouldn't say she's late term. I'd say she's mid term. She probably still has another few months to go. But I imagine that carrying a baby for 22 months that eventually reaches 100 kilograms, I imagine that would have a somewhat of a, a profound effect on one's mood. And I'm not inclined to test that theory. So we'll let her wander along and then we'll go and catch up with those babies as well. Oh, Elise, I love Elise. I could spend the rest of the day here. Maybe I will. You can. Actually, quite easily. It's one of the easier tracks to do that with. Oh, I don't want these elephants to disappear, but Dee, I promise you, don't go anywhere. After we're done with the elephants, I will jump out and I'll draw an elephant track for you and I'll show you just how you go about determining which direction an elephant is moving in. You know, a big ball off to my right there. There's our pregnant lady blocking our view once again. I'm not going to complain though. I can see the calves playing in front, but I'm not going to complain. Oh, I'm very sorry. I do apologize. I can't hear your name, but we do have a question asking about elephant birthing processes. Alice is trying once again to let me know what your name is. All I'm hearing is live. What are you hearing? Ah, Zaz. Zaz doesn't sound anything like live. How did I get that wrong? Sorry, Alice. And Zaz. I'm sorry. Zaz, you want to know if elephants will give birth out in the open? Yes, they can do. Um, it, the amazing thing about an elephant birth process is the way in which the entire herd forms a protective circle around the female in labor. It's not like something like a buffalo or an impala or a wildebeest that will take herself off somewhere quiet and isolated to give birth. The whole herd is involved in the process. They're anxious, they're worried about the female. I, I believe they're worried about the female. I've seen it in their behavior and it's very, very clear. And they will be exceptionally protective of her and of the new baby. And when she does give birth, they will go and all greet and comfort the baby as well. No big boy. The one thing they'll also do is keep bulls like this one at bay. So the older females, the matriarch and the higher ranking females, they'll actually basically block any males that are in the area and ultimately try and chase them away from a female giving birth. It's an incredible process. I've seen some amazing footage of a, a young female elephant that gave birth in the Olifants River, which admittedly was a poor choice in, in labor places, but perhaps she was going for the whole water birth trend. But it, I think she was just a young mother, labor happened and she dropped her calf in the Olifants River. And the whole herd, the older and more experienced females, actually stepped in to help her get that calf up and standing and out of the water and help to minimize the risk that it ran of actually drowning. So there's something special about the bond that elephants have with their babies. Of course, I don't even need to ask if you all remember that sighting. Look at the play happening in the road there, Dave, as well. Look at that. 
older calf pushing a younger one around. Oh, there's going to be tears. There's going to be screaming. Then mom's going to come see. Then you're going to get into trouble. Better be careful. Don't mess with baby elephants. They've got big moms. I don't even need to tell you about that amazing sighting that we had with that newborn baby elephant, but that was very special. Cute. This is so sweet. Interactions. This is what I love about elephants as well, is the responsibility that the older calves take with the younger ones in terms of babysitting and mothering them and oh yep that's definitely more your size keeping an eye on them it's so special that's probably a young female at the back there that is marching in to act like an older sister essentially and split up the fight oh no actually i take that back participate in said fight ah it's a little male it's not a female the li generally speaking, the female calves will actually take responsibility for the younger calves. Oh, cute. Again, I'm sorry, I'm obviously struggling with my comms. I'm not trying to get your names wrong deliberately. Okay, we do have a question about how long elephants will nurse for. They'll continue to nurse... A chair? A chair? Eclair? Is that you, Eclair? Eclair? Yep. Eclair? Yeah. Okay. okay. Sorry, I'm <laughs> struggling. There we go. Eclair. Eclair. Oh, goodness. You get the idea. I'm really sorry. I'm, I'm struggling with my comms this afternoon. You want to know how long baby elephants nurse for? They'll start to eat solid food at around about six months, but they'll continue to nurse sometimes even right up until they're about three years old, which is quite extraordinary when you think about it. Uh, what often happens, though, is you see these massive calves still nursing, and the female's obviously now trying to wean them. And they have these enormous weaning tantrums, screaming, ears flying, trunk flailing everywhere, desperately begging mom to allow them to drink milk. They don't take kindly to the whole weaning process. Quite traumatic for them. Ah, 